For DNA isolation with gene extract, use fresh or frozen blood. Do not store blood more than three days at ambient temperature, one week at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, or one year frozen. Avoid repeated freeze-thaw cycles. Bring blood samples to room temperature. Before withdrawing an aliquot, mix well by inverting blood collection tubes. Allow gene extract resin and lysis solution to reach room temperature. Pipette 100 microliters blood sample into a 1.5 milliliter microtube with screw cap. Add 1 milliliter lysis solution. Close tube and mix by inverting several times. Let stand for 15 minutes at room temperature. Centrifuge for 5 minutes at 3000 RPM in a micro centrifuge. Remove and discard the upper 1 milliliter of supernatant. Leave the pellet undisturbed. Add 1 milliliter lysis solution. Close tube and mix by inverting several times. The pellet should be completely resuspended. Centrifuge for 5 minutes at 12,000 RPM in a micro centrifuge. Remove and discard the supernatant except for approximately 50 microliters of a visible soft pellet. Resuspend gene extract resin by swirling the bottle thoroughly. Add 200 microliters gene extract resin to the pellet. Gene extract resin sediments quickly. Repeat suspension each time immediately before removing another aliquot. Close tube and vortex for 10 seconds. Incubate for 20 minutes at 56 degrees Celsius. Vortex for 10 seconds. Incubate for 10 minutes at 98 degrees Celsius. Vortex for 10 seconds. Centrifuge for 5 minutes at 12,000 RPM in a micro centrifuge. The resulting supernatant contains DNA templates suitable for immediate use in PCR. Gene extract DNA isolation and subsequent PCR is the standard procedure of most Vienna lab strip assays. However, formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded tissue requires alternative DNA isolation methods. Such DNA is harmed by fragmentation, chemical alterations, and PCR inhibitors. To enable correct quantification and successful PCR amplification, it is necessary to use fluorometry for measuring DNA concentration. Recommended products include the Qubit and Quantiflor systems. Prepare reagents according to your kit supplier. Add standards and DNA samples. After short incubation, place tubes in Qubit. Measure DNA concentration. Dilute DNA according to instructions for use. Keep all PCR reagents and DNA templates refrigerated. Prepare one reaction tube for each sample. Place tubes in cool block. Perform all steps in cool block until start of the thermocycler. Preheat thermocycler to starting temperature. Prepare a fresh working dilution of TAC DNA polymerase in TAC dilution buffer. For each sample, prepare a final PCR reaction mix in the cool block. 15 microliters amplification mix. 5 microliters diluted TAC DNA polymerase. 
5 microliters DNA template. Cap tubes tightly. Insert reaction tubes into the preheated thermocycler and run the appropriate program. Allow test strips, DNAT, conjugate solution, wash solution B and color developer to reach room temperature. Prepare the typing tray. Pre-warm hybridization buffer and wash solution A to 45 degrees Celsius. Take care that all precipitates formed at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius become completely dissolved after pre-warming. Use a shaking water bath. Adjust the water level to approximately half of the height of the typing tray. Heat to exactly 45 degrees Celsius. Check water temperature with a calibrated thermometer. Remove one test strip for each sample using clean tweezers. Label test strips outside of the marker lines with a pencil. Pipette DNAT into the lower corner of each lane to be used in the typing trays. Add amplification product into the corresponding drop of DNAT. Mix thoroughly with the pipette. The solution will remain blue. Let's stand for 5 minutes at room temperature. Add 1 milliliter hybridization buffer into each lane. The blue color will disappear. Gently agitate tray. Insert test strips with marked side up into the respective lanes. Submerge test strips completely. In order to avoid cross-contamination, do not dip tweezers into solution. Incubate for 30 minutes at 45 degrees Celsius on the shaking platform of the water bath. Set moderate shaking frequency to avoid spilling. Keep the cover of the water bath closed to avoid variations in temperature. You can use a thermo shaker with heated lid instead of a water bath. Set temperature to exactly 45 degrees Celsius and incubate for 30 minutes. Do not use air-based hybridization devices because of insufficient heat transmission. At the end of incubation, remove hybridization solution by vacuum aspiration. Proceed immediately. Do not allow test strips to run dry during the entire procedure. Add 1 milliliter wash solution A pre-warmed to 45 degrees Celsius. Rinse briefly. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Add 1 milliliter wash solution A. Incubate for 15 minutes at 45 degrees Celsius on the shaking platform of the water bath or thermo shaker. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Repeat the washing step. Add 1 milliliter conjugate solution. Incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature on a rocker or orbital shaker. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Add 1 milliliter wash solution B. Rinse briefly. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Add 1 milliliter wash solution B. Incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature on a rocker or orbital shaker. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Repeat the washing step. Add 1 milliliter color developer. Incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature, in the dark, 
on a rocker or orbital shaker. A purple staining will appear upon positive reaction. Wash test strips several times with distilled water. Remove liquids by vacuum aspiration. Let strips dry in the dark on absorbent paper and do not expose them to intense light after color development. Use double-sided tape to fix processed and dried test strips into the designated fields of the collector sheet. Align test strips to the schematic drawing using the red and green marker lines. Analyze your samples manually or with the Strip Assay Evaluator software. Scan collector sheet and use evaluator software for automated interpretation of band patterns. Place color developer, wash solution B, Conjugate solution and distilled water into the instrument. Add a magnetic stir bar to wash solution A and hybridization buffer and place both bottles on the heating element. Take care to place correct tubes in the corresponding bottles. Turn on the instrument and start the correct program. The instrument now prepares for 30 minutes. Pipette DNAT and amplification product in typing trays. Let's stand for five minutes at room temperature. Load typing tray and confirm the next program step. The instrument pauses automatically. Insert test strips with marked side up into the respective lanes and confirm the next program step. Analyze your samples manually or with the Strip Assay Evaluator software.